In this tutorial, we are going to teach you how to deselect the background and take an object, put it on a new background. We're going to go over here and we're going to take the quick selection tool. We're going to go ahead and use our upper keys to go ahead and make this a little bigger here. That's the actual back keys uh, above to the left of the enter. Click it and start clicking it. You want to make sure that you're also using the plus sign so that you're adding to what you're selecting. Um, some of these will be easier than others depending on the color difference of your background. Obviously if we have a dark color on a light background it's really easy. Um, this might get a little tricky around say like the tail where it feathers out. Um, there will be another tutorial on how to make that better. You can zoom in and go ahead and do what you're doing. Make it a little bit better. I'm just doing this for quickness. Go ahead now we've got it selected. We're going to go ahead and control C which is going to copy it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go control shift N it's a new layer. Go ahead and hit enter. Control V. Now if you look over here, we have the layer just that. We turn the background off. Now we got just a dark. We'll go ahead and click the background layer and we'll go ahead and pull up our fox. I've got a background of some grass. I'll go ahead and click the image. Go back to Photoshop. Control V to paste it. And then we'll go ahead and control T to let you resize it. Um, Go ahead and just make it size. It's probably going to blurry. I just selected an image real quick so that I can show you this jack wagon how to do this. And um, of course, once we go ahead and put the dog in there, we might want to go ahead and resize it a little bit to make it look a little more realistic. Um, of course, you can refine the edges. The edges will look a little bit better. Um, that'll be in another tutorial, like I said. Uh, probably be in one of the links on the videos on uh, so on YouTube. But if you just want to go ahead and have it like that, that's a good way to do it. We can also go over here and take the eraser tool, click on that. Make sure that it's like a blurry eraser tool and not a hard eraser tool. Go ahead and use the back up again and go ahead and just hit it around the edges and like that. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. Control Z always does a undo a little bit. <clears throat> and go ahead and just hit it a little bit here or there. This is the quickest way to do it. I mean, there's ten other ways. <clears throat> excuse me that you can actually do it now what we'll go ahead and we'll do we'll click the layer we'll go ahead into um, image and we'll do some adjustments we'll just go ahead and try to make this look a little bit we'll take some brightness out of it maybe add a little brightness eh, that looks good right there you can also go ahead and do a drop shadow depending on what you're doing it might work it might not work go ahead and check the distance check the angle of it try to get what it looks like in the background there it actually looks kind of crap um, we can go ahead and size it out a little bit. Um, take it down a little bit. And um, just go OK. But that's how you change the background, Jack Wagon. If you need a tissue, if you've got my number, give me a call. Peace.